So guys, me and my little helper here, yeah. we've got a mission. I'm going to make some chocolate out of these jeans which Wes seems to have shrunk on and they went out of fashion 20 years ago and uh, while well, we having a fire we thought that we'd have a little cook up because yeah. Joel likes his eggs. Yes, I do like them eggs. You do like them eggs don't you? Yes. So we're going to boil them up yes. at the same time. And if I get my charcoal off and it works, I'm going to use it with, I've got a chisel that I might make into a, a striker. Um, I want to try it first. I did attempt some the other day from an old pair of work trousers, but I don't think it were 100% cotton, but they are. So, cut my cloth up, pack my tin. It's not absolutely full, but I'll leave it on anyway. And I'm going to allow that to uh, boil with the eggs in it. They will be hard boiled and then I'll get five minutes after it's actually hit the boil. Some open scrap in there from my guitars, there's all sorts of bits and pieces, so it's not just pine under there, so it should burn pretty good and get stay pretty hot. And I can always lower it a bit more. No, I can't, it's minimum. <laughs> Darn. So, it is sunny. Got an umbrella up. Yes. yes. And now we just wait. And wait, and wait. <laughs> <laughs> what we got to do, Jojo? Just wait. Just wait, yeah. So, that's them boiling away. I'll leave them for five minutes. Put the lid back on. And that chalk wash should be done as well. Where did chalk wash? It's already done. It probably is already done, but it doesn't matter. You can't overcook it. So then, this should be done. Both. Don't put the egg out. No, no. How is sticky in there? Huh? How are they now in there? You just leave that to cool off. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave chocolate off to sit there. Cool down and then I'll try lighting that way of flint and steel. So we're doing this little bit of man stuff because uh, Joel's bigger brother and sister have got birthdays next week and uh, both in the same week. And Joel's sick, so we're going to teach him how to make fire <laughs> and eat boiled eggs. We've got some special, say, good uh, salt and herbs mix. Actually, both are going there. Hey? Oh no, not a little fly. Don't worry about him. He won't eat much. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. How many thumbs up? Two. <laughs> Thank you. Just peel them underwater. In there, I put some cold water, cold water in it. Seems to have approval of the boss. Got three each, see if I get three. <laughs> A little bit of good stuff. Perfect. You want one? <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Good liking you. Yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah. Hey, more. Yeah, two more. Mm -hmm. Next one, Jaws. Next time. I might have to dip it in water a bit. It helps you get shell off. Oh, mess mine up. You can't do it. It's too hard. You have to get through that skin. Go through it. Okay. Move that one. Yeah. Wipe your hand, put your hands in water. Mm. Salt if you want. That skin there, look, see? Mm. That's what you have to get off first. Once you get that skin off, and the rest of the shell comes with it. Sometimes. Did <sighs> some salts. Yeah, yours. Oh, do you want that one? You could have got either. You could have eaten that one, Chaz. Get another ten. <laughs> they were all right, weren't they? Little snack. So, this is the chalk cloth I'm just made. If it works, I'll do some more at a later date. This is file I want to use. Um, I'd like them. I might just cut it off and keep it in that tin. As you know, I like gold panning, and I always like little fire kits and stuff like that. So if I cut it off so it'll stay in that tin, we are actually, I'm not going to bend it or out like that, I'll just cut it off. I might drill an hole in it, put a lanyard on it, but it'll make a, if providing this chalk cloth works, it'll make a nice little fire steel. And it's got a file on it, it's still useful. That side's already been flattened down, I didn't flatten that, it's just an old file that I had in the shed. But that side's serrated, and the other two sides are always handy to have anyway. So let's give it a try. Let's move my little chair over. This is clamping this. Jo, jo, jo. What's that? Look this. Mm. That. Mm. That's flint. Mm. And it's a very hard stone. And it's harder than the steel. And what happens is when you do this, then you, make you make sparks because it's ticking pieces of the steel off. Here we flint steel. And that's how they used to make fire in old days. Didn't have lighters. Okay. <laughs> now I can see it. You can see it burning? Oh, it's pig. Ha ha! Bent myself. And now I'm going to try to blow a bird, blow a bird's nest into flame. Not really. Yeah. Not really. So, got a rubbish little bird nest using from uh, straw from quail. I hope it's dry enough. Can I smell? Do you smell it? Like, smell like rabbit. Like rabbits? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe rabbits smell like straw then, because there's been no rabbits near it. <laughs> what could 
possibly go around teaching a fi five-year-old how to make uh, fire. <laughs> Six-year-old. <laughs> Oh yes, there we have fire. <laughs> My first fire by Flint and Steel. <laughs> 